Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to add a Nessus Scanner instance to Sourcefire's IPS via the Defense Center console here. So let's log in as uh, administrator here, or with an administrator account. Let's see if I can type that properly and not fat finger it this time. <clears throat> so go ahead and log in. Um, the Sourcefire IPS does actually a really good job of uh, basically having the functionality to work with other with other vendors um, with their tools and so on and some open source some being commercial um, basically you can tie in other tools in here and basically bring the events in here and tie them into the and correlate them sorry into the events that you get with with within the actual IPS so let's go into tools scanners so operations tools scanners and you'll see we don't have an instance created so far and the first thing we've got to do is actually start up the Nessus server before you can actually do this so let's go ahead and click on Nessus server configuration and you'll see it's currently disabled we'll go ahead and start that up <clears throat> and we'll go back into our operations tools scanners menu so now we can go ahead add a Nessus instance now we actually don't have a scanner that we're connecting to right now um, but we're going to just show you the steps here. That's what we want to get across. As you can see, the host name's localhost in this case. It shouldn't be that. It would be the actual um, host name or IP address of your actual Nessus scanner. You'll see the server port being 1241, which you're probably pretty familiar with if you use Nessus. We'll go ahead and type in our admin username and password for that specific server or scanner and go ahead and create. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you get that working. Thanks very much for coming out. We'll see you on the next one.